Hello everyone, this is my M1 Abrams tank that I just finished painting. Follow me on this video for easy painting and weathering armor tank techniques. So check this out. This is a Hang Long 116 scale Abram tank that I bought used on eBay with metal wheels and uh, metal track. Uh, it, it is pretty popular hobby in the 116 scale right now. Uh, but check it out. The original color looks dead and not right to me. Um, so here it is. I'm gonna I disable the track and I'm gonna prep for repainting the tank. First, I will apply my base color using acrylic paints of ice latte here. And yes, relax with a coffee break. <laughs> anyway, ice latte and a color buff. I mix it up and I experiment it. And with these two colors, it will give me a vibrant, lively armor sand color to look good in the desert sun. So I'm gonna start airbrushing my tank with this color mix. Okay, after evenly applying the airbrush paint on, uh, let me spin this around for you. It looks like a very good armor sandy color on the tank that we can start off first uh, using this color as the base color. It looks very good here. Next, then I apply uh, a black color toward the exhaust rear of the tank and I also use this burnt sienna uh, to apply uh, lightly airbrushing the bottom edge of uh, the tank uh, along the edge as you can see very lightly here. Here I want to create some mixing of the green wheels color along with the base color wheels as during the Iraq War M1 tank crew were hurry assembling for battle and some were still using spare parts still from the NATO green color scheme. I then use this uh, gunmetal bluing uh, chemical and apply to the track to give it a you know oxidizing looking uh, gunmetal looks uh, as it work into the track. So 
So the next step is to seal the acrylic base coat. So I use this matte cover, matte clear coat, and I'm just gonna spray it to the entire tank. And after you spray it, give it a 24 hour to, uh, for the sealer to dry. Okay, so the next step is weathering. So I'm gonna use this oil paint, burn sienna and a white color here. These are oil paint, okay? And I'm gonna dilute it with Gamsol and it's gonna give a thin film color. And basically what you want to do is uh, touch up along all these lines, uh, as you can see here, to, to give it a highlight look of rusty color uh, on, the, on the tank.
summary i hope you find the painting and the weathering technique in this video helpful to your need and try to practice it in your hobby the more practice the more better we will be at it well that concludes this episode if you enjoy it i would appreciate it if you help support my channel by subscribing and commenting again thank you for watching everyone 